Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what I am blessed with, I want to share with everybody. So I am ready to hear what the Lord has to speak to your heart. So yes, I am ready to hear what the Lord has to speak to your heart. So yes, I am ready to hear what the Lord has to speak to your heart. Because there were times in, in when I was leading worship or I was when I was uh, not known to anybody and I was a normal worshiper worshiping Jesus in the crowd. I struggled worshiping Jesus. See, don't tell me all these big, big things. I know that everybody goes through, goes through this. There are seasons that keep changing in our life. There are seasons where there is dryness. There are seasons of breakthroughs. There are seasons where of, of healings and miracles and every season comes. So there is a season that God will take you to the season of dryness. And that's the time we don't sense anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this word is so crucial at this time because this is going to open up a lot of things for you. Remember this, every time when you worship, you are not alone. You, it is always a spiritual warfare for you and for your life. Whenever you are worshipping, there is you, there are angels, there is demon, there is Satan, and there is God. Come on, I want you to say after me. It is me, there are angels, there, are angels. there is God, there is God, and there is Satan. This is what happens every time when you come in the presence of the Lord. These four things are always involved in your life. Write it down. It will help you. Because this is what it is in this chapter. Because when I see Joshua, I see myself. Joshua is in the presence of the Lord and he is filthy, he is, he is in filthy clothes. It is stinking. Hallelujah. It is stinking. He, he didn't look good. His, his, maybe his heads were bowed down. Joshua represents you and me at this moment. And we see Satan coming and accusing Joshua in front of in front of God. I looked at the way, he was a cyclon of Mandu, so they were there. So it says, and Satan standing at his right side. Whose right side? Joshua's right side. To accuse him. And God says, I am the Lord. And if you are in my presence, I am the Lord. And if you are in my presence, I am the Lord. And if you are in my presence, there are times when you don't feel like coming inside that door. There are times when you don't feel worthy enough to come and worship Jesus. Because there is an accusation against you that is happening day in and day out to God. And that accusation many of us have accepted in our life. And we believe the words of enemy and we say yes it is. Hallelujah. 
Many of us have believed in the lie of the enemy for our lives. Anek sir, we believe that the lie. Satan na sulla na nam namora ite ne. She said, "You are not healed, and we we accept it." Or yeah. that na we bura wabe na adam na mamu. She said that I am not delivered. You accept it. Or that na we bura kade aage na adam na mamu upkar ite ne. He says that it can never happen with you. You can never get out of this lust thing, and and you cannot get out of any addictions and. This and that, and you accept it in your life. How many years have you been doing? You still think that, or you do just that? Did that? You can't talk about it. That you bring it up with the body of Satan. You accept those words, and you come in the presence. You accept the accusations, and you come in the presence. And he is still not leaving you. He is still accusing. Lord, on your own, the Allah, the Lord, the Lord. ತಪ್ಪ ಅದು ಸುಳ್ಳುಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಒಪ್ಪಿಕೊಂಡು ದೇವರ ಸಮ್ಮುಖದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಆ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಬಿಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ವೈರಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಬಹು ಅದರ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತನಾಗಿಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅವನು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಬಿಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಕೂಡ ಹಂಗೆ ಇರ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅವನು ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಿಟ್ಕೊಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಳ್ಳೆಯಾಗಿದ್ದು ನನಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಸಿದ್ಧಪಡಿಸಿದ್ದೇನೆ then you accuse him if i am for him nobody can accuse ah, me so they are not talking to me so not the most clear but they are not there in this way sat here you know we we hear we want to hear this when we have big brother and the small brother gets beaten up you know and the small small brother comes and the big brother sees the small tu dar mat me hai na kya bolne ka usko bolne de me and you also feel suddenly something not the ego thing you are the same person just the word that has come forth from your brother or from your father that i am with you gives you that thing i am a brand plucked by the fire ಇಬ್ಬರು ಸಹೋದರ ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಹೋದರ ಅಥವಾ ತಮ್ಮನು ಯಾರಿಗಾದ್ರೂ ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸಲ್ಪಟ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಅಣ್ಣ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದಾಗ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಅಣ್ಣ ಹತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಯಾರು ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸೋದು ನಾನು ಪರವಾಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಆದ್ರೆ ಹೊಸ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಚೈತ್ರ ತುಂಬುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಈ ವಿಷಯ ಬಹಳ ನಮಗಿರುವಂತ ಹೆಸರು ಬೆಂಕಿ See it is nobody else God is saying the very yaro alla devare helta idane he is saying ಆಗ ದೇವರು ಯೋಶನ 
ಕಡೆಗೆ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಅದ್ರ ಕಡೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾ in verse 3 uh, verse 4 it says then he said to joshua that not so many see i have taken over your sins see i have taken over your sin ego nena doshavana nenida tolisiddene and i will put fine garments on you nenige shreshtha vastravanna tolisuvenu endu helidu do you know what you mean by fine garments nenige gotta shreshtha vastra anta nenu she is covering you ಶಾಶ್ವತ the lord reposition him back to the position that always belong to him or yavaglu aathrige seridanta aa sthana aathra swasthavanna enadru kaldukondidra thirige devaru adannu kodidra this is a prophetic word for somebody in this place that there is a repositioning in the supernatural in your church in your family in your life the lord god is covering you he is silencing the enemy and he is ಜೀವನ <laughs> to know where you are standing yes. there is an accusation and there is a god who is silencing the enemy at least today you will know what is happening when you are standing in the presence of god you can hear that is not the word of the devil so that it will all end charta ide anu drishya that's why it says it's not about you adukosara helu padutade nenu kurita ala nenu bakke anna hallelujah 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 it's a season of repositioning that i am prophesying over your life to a position which always belong to you god and you and you are to some other place and the enemy showed you that this is not this is not your position but the way you get told say you are just and you accepted that but other name opened you did ya but the lord sent ronnie from bombay yeah yeah ಎಲ್ಲಿಗೆಂಗ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ stana nimde nodu ellu agide that you are god is saying i am making you you the head again tirigi nanu ena thaliyagi maartene enough of this bhagavane idana saaku enough of eating from the floor kalaga ido kalaga bindu tinuvanta sthiti na saaku enough of crawling like worms so ulado padiyale theludidu saaku that is not your place adu nina stha stha is not your position adu nina sthana alla shift with me nanu ninge kutuko and eat with me nanu ninge kutisu hallelujah 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 are you excited ಸಂಕಟಗಳಿಗೆ 
me, Joshua. You are a man, symbolic of things of what I am about to do in this nation. So you are covered in Jim, the Badal and Hagi there. So the Nina, the Mugur Taki, the Anamunde, Marduk, and Marduk, and Kari, and Nina Mugur Taki. So that means you don't have to look at something else. People have to look at you to know what this God is about to do. You are men symbolic of things. Yes, you are men symbolic of things that God is about to do in this nation, in your family, in your church, in your ministry, in your life. You are men symbolic. Get this, you come filthy and you become symbolic. You come broken and God puts you up in some position that just imagine Joshua. He must be, Lord, what are you doing? What are you saying? And listen to me, where is God doing all this? In the presence of the devil enemy. I will set a table before your enemies. Jesus died on the cross on top of the mountain. He doesn't like to do things, anything in hiding. Hiding yes. is done in secret. He doesn't like all this secrecy and doing things in under the bush. Oh, he is a God who will do it. Now, the enemy is quiet. Everything has turned. And Joshua is being repositioned back to his place of authority. Thank you. you have lost authority over your life. I'm telling you, you have lost authority over your life, over your own life. Because you have supposed to take this side, you have gone this side. And, and everything about you has changed. You have, you have lost your direction, your vision, your purpose, everything. Do you know that a vision is more powerful than a person? Because vision is not a vision will not only affect you, it will affect everybody that are around you. How do you know that vision is from God? Number one thing, how you know that this vision is from God is that that vision will not only bless you, it will through you, many will be blessed. Amen. If a vision is to just fill your own pockets and make your own property and to make your own family, own marriage, that is not from God. But if a vision is that through that money which God gives you, you take 15 unmarried, underprivileged girls who cannot afford to get married, you are sowing into their marriage and you building some houses, you giving some sewing machines. That is vision, boss, that is powerful. You are equipping people. You, you experience uh, repositioning, why can't you reposition everybody else? Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Yeah. Yeah. brother, preach it! Hallelujah. Yeah. Repositioning. Yeah. Write it 
the repositioning. Okay. Capital letters and scribble it and say this is the day of repositioning. Bless your name, Jesus. Are you ready for more? Yes! I'm going to prophesy a second thing through the word. See, I don't like to prophesy without the base of the word. They work out in there. Pramadan, you don't know. I'm not going to do that. That Chabukiri, I don't do. Chadukiri, I don't do that. I can excite you and all that stuff. Through the word, whatever it is, it has to be spoken through the word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to talk about this. You heard about Joshua, right? Everybody said Joshua. 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 And everybody said reposition. Reposition. Joshua was reposition. Now we're going to talk about a second man, which I feel that you must have not heard, heard, and you must have think, uh, thought that maybe he is not uh, uh, famous enough to be talked about or read about. So whether you have to be a little fast now, you have to get, I would, I am transferring my anointing upon you. Okay? So, I am going to talk about Nefi Boshet. I don't, I have spoken about this before, uh, somewhere else, but I believe that these two things are, one, Joshua was in, Joshua was in, is in Zechariah, but um, Mephibosheth is in 2 Samuel. Okay? I don't know what they have, but these two men talk about the same thing, which you uh, know, uh, two, two prophecies together for your life today. So Mephibosheth, you know who Mephibosheth is? Mephibosheth is Jonathan's son and grandson of King Saul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And who was Saul? Saul was king of Israel. Everything about Israel is about, about Saul. But the power, the authority, everything belonged to Saul. 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 Come on, say Saul. it. Saul. 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 And who was Jonathan? Jonathan was Saul's son. And who was Jonathan's And whenever Saul was behind David, Jonathan was doing the work of a good friend. He was telling David, come on, see, my father is planning to kill you. You don't need to go from that road. Come on, run from the other side. And it happened so, it happened so that Saul died and Jonathan also died. There was a small baby of five years, his name was Mephibosheth in the hands of a maid servant. And Shatma war broke out and that maid servant was walking, uh, was was running with Mephibosheth, and Mephibosheth f fell from her hand, and he uh, and he was uh, lost his both the legs. He was paralyzed, waist down. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. And he was paralyzed waist down. That means he had his limbs but he cannot feel it. He was in some other place. And he was living a life of complete hopelessness. Though his bloodline was very strong. He was he was he had a kingly bloodline, right? Oh. He had a powerful bloodline. That means his or Basada, daddy, uh, grandfather, everybody were kings. But his present situation means nothing. He was an invalid person. He had to live on the mercy of people. Hallelujah. He, everybody 
but he is, if he is hungry, somebody has to feed him. If he has to go somewhere, maybe he is crawling like, like this, like this, like this, like this. Just imagine a, a king's son and he is crawling on the floor and eating and nobody had food, 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 everything. And he said, what, what, what to do, what to do? Maybe nobody knows, nobody values, nothing. And he was thinking that this is how his life is. And this is how he's going to die. He had no career. He had no vision for his life. There, there is no purpose in his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your house, your family, your own life. You think that there is no purpose in my life. But praise be to God. That God is on the throne. Yes. Blessed is a man whose God is the Lord. Hallelujah. God with the praise. There are times when you will feel you are all alone. That doesn't mean that God is disappeared. It's a sign that he is going to appear much powerfully. Write this down. If, if you are feeling that God is, whenever you are feeling alone, some season of your life alone, that doesn't mean that you are alone. That God has disappeared. That means He is in a plan to appear much more powerfully. So maybe that was Mephibosheth's power. Uh, What's happening? He was feeling. He's saying that nobody is there. Nobody is there for me. Who can be there for me? This is my life. I have to beg. I have to. I have to live on the mercy of people. Then one day, David appeared. Is there somebody on whom I can show kindness? And who was that? Blessed person. And maybe Nephew Boshan was wearing a t-shirt saying, Apna time I Nephew <laughs> Can you just say where are time? I Amen. 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 Amen.